Good morning and welcome to English 0123 or Writing Enhancement. My name is John. I'm very glad you're here. This is where we will meet on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, three times a week for an hour from 10 to 10.50 to work through the college level writing process. Many of you may wonder why you're here because you obviously know how to write. You know how to write well enough to turn out a few pros and get through high school English class, right? Sure. And you'd be right in this assumption. However, the question now becomes, is that same pros from high school good enough for college level academics? Since I do not know your writing, I cannot say one way or another. What I do know is that I'm here to help those wanting to write better become better writers. I will assist you to the best of my ability in the journey to bring your writing skills up to the level they need to be for college, and hopefully you will find out along the way that college writing is just another level of formal self-expression. College writing includes many of the same things high school writing does, such as it asks questions and attempts to answer others as well. In my opinion, academic or college level writing is the highest form of self-expression one can aspire to. Writing succinctly, concisely, and above all, coherently, presenting ideas or theories is another level of communication. However, within this upper level of communication are rules, styles, and formats that must be adhered to. So, a little bit of history. From the earliest forms of pre-language communication, human beings expressed their thoughts through images and gestures. The basics were there, sure, but there was no way to express abstract concepts or ideas to others until language was developed. Once language evolved, most people could speak it, but not everyone could read, much less write it. Reading and writing were reserved for the elite and wealthy, or those of nobility, but not for the common people. In this way, the wealthy and the nobles could hold dominion over those who could not read or write. In essence, they held the power. For the common people, this lack of literacy gave rise to a rich world tradition that would perpetuate cultural histories and family lineages for centuries. Cultural beliefs were handed down from generation to generation by word of mouth until they were eventually written down and record keeping became the norm. Today there is such a focus on writing, especially at the college level, that not being able to perform this essential function can be a hindrance to good paying job post graduation. I want everyone to know that this class will be what you make of it. Sure there will be certain essays that must be written, and this is just to check overall progress throughout the course. There will be those in this class to find the work of uh, creation within the constraints of academia not so challenging, and there will be those who will struggle. This is okay because my opportunity here is to assist each of you, regardless of your skill level. But please, those of you who are struggling, don't keep it a secret. Do not do so in silence. I need to know what challenges you are facing to help you. Again, let me make this clear. If you are struggling, and if you know you need assistance, let me know or I cannot do my job. Do not feel discouraged and just don't do anything. This is a writing class, sure, first and foremost, but it is also one of communication, and communication is always a two-way street. Remember, good and effective writing has its own energy and can be extremely powerful. Some say that knowledge is power, and I believe this. However, knowledge is useless unless it is put into action, and writing is a catalyst that, combined with knowledge, can make great things happen.